Hi everyone, it's April and today I wanted to share a project that I'm working on. We have a friend who is moving out of state and the theme of her going away gathering is made in Kentucky. So I wanted to make a card using my silhouette and somewhere I have the state of Kentucky. I'm gonna probably have to find it. But while I was perusing the silhouette design store, I found that the option to also get the SVG file along with your silhouette cut has already been added to some images. So I wanted to share with you, first of all, how you can include the SVG, and then later on we'll go about seeing what we can do with the SVG. So I have uh, something in my cart already that has an SVG. So I thought I would pick another image. Hopefully it comes with an SVG, we'll see. So you shop just like you normally would, you search just like you normally would, and you add the items to your cart just like you normally would. And then when you go to your cart, although I didn't click hard enough on that one, you will see a box that says include SVG. So here is a horse and fence silhouette that I wanted to add to my Kentucky card. So I'm going to include the SVG and it looks like there is a cost associated with that. So it looks like it adds about 49 or 50 cents to your image, which is fine. And then let's see what it does if you use it for commercial use. For commercial use, uh, I don't know if there's a difference if you include the SVG. It looks like there's not. So just to let you know how it works. All right, so my total is $3.97. I'm going to check out and get my password. And then that is that. All right, so we'll get back to, I'll go ahead and down, download my items. Okay, so I'm going to go to Silhouette, and I'm going to use version 4 to design my card. I don't know, I've got, the, I'm hoping version 4.1 installed and I do have the business edition there might be some minor differences with this and my screen is not very large so I'm gonna go over here and let's make this a little bit bigger oh yeah now I can see those puppies all right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a tri I'm sorry, a triangle. <laughs> Looks like a four-sided four triangle there. I want to create an image that is a rectangle that I am going to make into my card base. So I'm going to make it five and a quarter by four. And then I'm going to hit the lock so that that size doesn't get modified. I'm not sure why it didn't apply. Hmm. Unlock. Oh, I always do that. I do it on the wrong one. Okay, so here we go. Four by five and a quarter. Uh, okay, that's better. And. There we go. If you hear growling in the background, Grace is not excited that Agnes has come down to visit. All right, so now I need to find my Kentucky image. And it should be, I've got two different Kentuckys. I have one that has Kentucky in cursive along the bottom. And then I have one that is just Kentucky. So I'm not real sure 
which one I want to use yet. Let's see. And finding the second of the two might be a challenge. So, let's see. There we go. And let's see if I can see pictures. Nope. Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay, so I do have multiple Kentuckys here. Huh. I have all kinds of options. Mm, let's look at this one. Huh. I don't know if I like that one or not. I might just stick with the first one. Yeah, that's going to have to be my fave. All right, so I am going to copy this and go to my first tab, which is where I have my image, my card base, and I'm going to paste. I'm going to resize this so that it will fit on my card base. And it can overlap a little bit. Uh, and I think I want it. I know that's not truly how Kentucky looks. I'm sure it's on an angle, but I, I do want this to be straight. So let's bring him down a little. He overlaps a little, which is okay. Now I want some text that says made in, but that is not the font that I want to use. So I'm gonna go over here and choose my text icon and just kind of play with it a little bit. I don't know. I think I want a different font than the cursive font that I have there. That's kind of cute. And I'm just scrolling through to see which font I want. I kind of like this one. I think I'm going to stick with this one. So it's all one piece, and I actually want it to fit. You know, actually, if I do this in black, and I can come up here and drop this box down, there we go, okay. So here I can have Made in Kentucky, and then I need to download, that's Agnes in the background. Oh, I had issues getting my sign in to work here. Hoping turning it off and that would fix it, but I'm not sure it's working. But I've got this here. It does not like me there for some reason. So I'm just going to have to get the horse. But I do want the horse and the fence, I think, to go along the bottom. I'm going to have to work with that. 
But this was just a quick video on how to do some designing in Silhouette version 4.1. And I'll follow up with what my final design looks like and show you the card that I made.